Welcome to Lesson 7F, Segway, Dimensional Analysis to Pipe Flow. In this lesson, we do one more dimensional analysis example, fully developed pipe flow. This will set the stage for the next major topic, which is internal flow or flow in pipes. Here's the problem set up. We're given a long straight section of pipe that's fully developed after some distance downstream. Once it's fully developed, this velocity profile stays the same from then on downstream. Shear stress tau w on the wall is thus a function only of average speed v, pipe diameter d, fluid properties rho and mu, and also the roughness of the pipe. Epsilon is the average roughness height of the inside of the pipe wall. It's a length. Let's use the method of repeating variables to generate a non-dimensional relationship between wall shear stress and the other variables in the problem. I would like to solve this one. Okay, Albert, please do. Okay, step one. Tau w is a function of v, d, rho, mu, and epsilon. We count and get n equals 6. Step 2. List the primary dimensions. Tau has dimensions of m over lt squared. V is l over t. D is l. Rho is m over l cubed. Mu is m over lt. And epsilon is l, as you said. Step 3. Since we have m, l, and t as our only primary dimensions, j equals 3. Therefore, k equal n minus j equal 6 minus 3 equal 3. Thus, we expect 3 pi's. Step 4. As you said in a previous lesson, it is good to pick v, d, and rho. And these represent all three of the primary dimension. Step 5. Generate the pi's. Pi 1 is the dependent pi. We set it to tau w and the three repeating variables raised to exponents. Then we write the dimensions of each variable. Pi 1 is dimensionless and then we have tau w, v to the a, d to the b, and rho to the c. Now we equate exponents. For m, 0 equal 1 plus c, thus c equal negative 1. For t, 0 equal negative 2 minus a, so a equal negative 2. For l, 0 equal negative 1 plus a plus b minus 3c. But when we solve for b, we get b equals 0. So our pi 1 is tau w over rho v squared. But what you call a more socially acceptable pi is 1 in the table. I found f equal Darcy friction factor is the same as our pi but with a constant 8. We define pi 1 as 8 tau w over rho v squared. Now pi 2. V pick mu and the three repeating variables raised to exponents. This one is the same as a previous example. V get pi equal mu over rho V D. But if we inverse it, we get Reynolds number, which is more acceptable. So pi 2 equal rho V D over mu, which is Reynolds number. Finally, pi 3 is epsilon times V D and mu raised to exponents. This one is relatively simple. Hmm. Relatively. Albert, please finish the problem. Uh, ah, sorry. Uh, epsilon is a length and pi 3 has to be epsilon over d. We don't even have to do the algebra. Step 6 is to write the pi relationship. We write f equal function of Reynolds number and epsilon over d. Thank you, Albert. Yeah, this was fun. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.